Emily in the Express, Gray, that's Sue Gray, who's gone for this big job at Labour, broke the rules in doing it. This sounds like it might be quite a big story, actually. Well, they found her on one rule breaking. So um, she's actually been um, cleared by ACBO that it was absolutely fine for her to take the job. ACBO, Where, so, help us out here. So um, it's, they, it's the something on appointments in public it's life. The appointments of public life. So she was cleared by that watchdog for taking the job, for, for saying they, she can take the job. So this is a separate inquiry, which has been done by the Cabinet Office, and they're saying she has breached the civil service code because she first spoke to Sakir Starmer about becoming his chief of staff in October, four months before she quit her Whitehall And role. the key thing is, was she in touch with Keir Starmer, Owen, and does this matter, while she was doing the Partygate investigation? Had he... Had he tapped her up? Well, I, they didn't find that. I mean, I find this... I, I find it difficult to get angry about. If it was the Conservatives who did this, and I did do you this test... Angry. Well, the point... I'd, I wouldn't be angry, but I'd be like, I don't like the look of this, so I'm going to apply that to this as well. Okay, I'm yeah. going to be consistent. That is fair. Uh, I think that's reasonable. Um, Boris Trump, the government appointed her to do party gate. I think there's this stupid conspiracy theory which has emerged, which is the, the Tories going, well, isn't that dodgy? She did the party gate inquiry, and she was talking to Keir Starmer. They appointed her. They chose Sue Gray. They, it wasn't like there was some, someone else who did it. Also, I think... She, no, but the, the civil service are meant to be politically... Yeah, she, of the, course. In fact, she was talking about taking a very big job in the Labour Party. But also, party. Well, she, 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 report she, she was while she was still in the civil service. Yeah, but, is, but is breaking the apparently rules. not overlapping with the actual party gate inquiry, if no. you believe no, it, that. I mean, it, she... Listen, you can pass Keir Starmer in the corridor and you go, like that, right? <laughs> That's not... That doesn't count as contact, but means... You yeah. and me. It hasn't... It, it, there's not... That's not... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think that would be appropriate behaviour. <laughs> it's just, like, a job later. <laughs> no, we weren't <laughs> winking in the just, corridor. No, no. <laughs> OK. <laughs> You'd no, be hand up for other things. I sometimes <laughs> actually, I wink at people sometimes and I apologise, cos I'm like, is that kind of endearing or, or creepy? It's difficult. Have you, well. have you started winking by accident, have you? Not winking. Sometimes with friends, I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I'm like, is that, is that creepy? And you, can't, you, and you can't work, you Bad can't habits. wink in the workplace anymore. Have you tried also, it in the mirror to see whether it's creepy? Because no. that's funny. Just it's see the a, image of you doing that. It's not creepy. really slipped sideways here. <laughs> well, I don't, yeah, we've got, we've moved off Sue Gray into anyway. whether winking, it's wrong wink to etiquette. wink at strangers. Wink etiquette in the workplace. <laughs>